Have we progressive familial intrahepatic cholestasis as a group of contributing to about 10% of the conditions? As I said earlier, these are newly diagnosed entities. There is alteration in the hepatic cylinder bile acid transport system. We discussed in the initial couple of slides about the canalicular system, how the bile acid transport from the hepatocyte to the canalicule happen. So it is autosomal recessive disorders. We have three main types. The PFIC 1 and 2 appear in the first months of life and PFIC 3 later on. And there is also a difference that PFIC 1 and 2 typically have a low gamma GT compared to the other causes of cholestasis. So this is a key differentiating factor. And that's why we add the gamma GT in the investigation of these children with cholestasis, because if the GGT is low, it's not the typical obstructive cholestasis. You start looking into the genetic panel for PFIC or the bile acid secretion disorders. In the PFIC type 3, the uh, GGT is normal. And the diagnosis is based on specific immunostaining as well as by genetic panel testing. You can use arsodeoxycholic acid as a cholinetic agent to postpone bile cirrhosis. An early partial external biliary diversion may normalize serum bile acid because pruritus is a very common manifestation in these babies. And by performing this procedure, you may delay the worsening and also reduce the pruritus. Liver transplantation will be needed in these babies as well. And we have metabolic disorders, 5% of the neonatal cholestasis. So cystic fibrosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, which is a PA, is a DZ phenotype. It can present with early onset progressive liver failure and transplantation is needed. Of course, the other types may present with emphysema. So the liver disorder is seen in PA is a DZ phenotype. We have uh, Gaucher's disease, Neiman pig type C, uh, and tyrosinemia type 1 galactosemia, hereditary fructose intolerance, as we discussed earlier. And lastly, the low uh, GGT conditions include uh, bile acid disorders. So abnormal bile acids will be some bile acid synthetic disorders where abnormal bile acids are seen in the urine. Diagnosis is by mass spectrometry, and they can be treated by primary bile acid replacement. So quinodeoxycholic acid replacement might help in these conditions. <clears throat> 